Hello and welcome to the In Wills Interval, content that focuses on strategies and survival tactics for fellow small streamers. In this episode, I talk about how to promote interactions with your community and why this could lead to disappointment. One of the best things about streaming is the interactions you can have with your community. These can range from simple greetings to answering questions and even engaging via the prediction and polling features on Twitch. But as small streamers, it is important to remember that asking or inviting people to comment or contribute might end up with stony silences or that sound of crickets chirping to fill those tumbleweed moments. So let me share with you some ideas and advice for promoting interactions with your community. I've done these and they seem to work. So let me know in the comments if they help you as well. Okay, first up, talk, talk, talk. I've mentioned before to ensure that you have your viewer counter turned off. Doing this means you never know if you are streaming to one viewer, no viewers, or even 100 viewers. So I always think in my head that there is 100 people watching and listening to me. Because of this, I talk all the time. I actually write down topics for discussions for these the, for those moments when I run out of things to say. Anyone coming into the channel will hear me chattering away, which could um, encourage them to contribute and stay for longer. And check out next month's episode when I talk about planning for your stream. Next up, what to do in those stony silences. So there might be times when you are focusing so much on the game that you don't really want to or can't talk. At these times, make sure you have something to put on your screen in or into the chat or to play a soundbite to say that you are focusing. I tend to use this. I'm afraid Inworld cannot take your chat at the moment. He is currently engaged with content, hence the focus face. At the beep, leave your message in chat and I'm sure he will get back to you. This means that people will hear this and recognize that you are not ignoring the chat, you are just focusing on the game and so can't engage with it at that moment. Number three is asking questions to your chat. As you are talking away, it is always beneficial to drop in a few questions. These are not necessarily questions that need to be answered. There are just random questions that you mention. And then what you can do is think for a moment and then move on or even answer them yourself. If you are aware of your stream delay, then it is often worth waiting until this is passed and then leaving enough time for typing speeds before you answer the question or you could just leave it hanging there for later on in your stream. Next, use the chat. So whenever anyone types anything into your tr chat, try and take advantage of it straight away. Use their chat to talk about different topics, answer their questions, or, or repurpose the question or the chat back to the community. Anything that comes into your chat, try to capitalize on it as soon as possible. And finally, know your community. Always try and take an active interest in your community. Asking about their day or what they are up to will encourage them to share these activities within your chat. And then you can use them when that person comes back again to ask them how their day has been. How was that trip? What did you think of that film? These, there is something quite 
powerful about asking people how something went when the reviewer returns. It makes everyone feel that you value them as people as well as an active part of the community. I haven't mentioned anything about predictions and polls in this episode since I want to dive deeper into these in a future video. I will however put a warning out about these. Until you have grown your communities, these polls and predictions can fall flat. There is nothing worse to your own self-confidence as a streamer to start a poll just to find out that no one has answered it at all. So in my, for my opinion with these would be before you start using them, make sure you have an active community that will support you by giving you answers. If you have any questions, then please do email them to me or add them in the comments below. And don't forget to check out some of the infographics and YouTube shorts that I create about successful streaming. Checking out the community tab on my channel will let you see these easily and quickly. And don't forget to like them. Okay, next month I'm going to be talking about planning for your streams. Until then, stay positive and productive and remember to enjoy your streaming. <laughs> <laughs>